Technology has made a lot of things easier, including scamming people. Thieves are using it now to steal from younger targets who may be oblivious. Here's News 5's Ashley Knight with tonight's Scam Busters report. In the early days of scamming, it was usually just the senior citizens who had to worry. They were easy targets. They had more money than young people, and they would go after them saying they won the Jamaican lottery. You know, you need to pay your taxes on this so we can send you your money. But now the buzz is technology has made it all too easy for con artists to turn their eyes to the younger generation. I believe that they're just so broad with being so trusting on the social media. I don't think that a lot of them really understand how big it is and how big of a problem it could be. Take Facebook, probably the tool most used by scammers. It's incredibly easy to duplicate a page, stealing profile pictures that are free to anyone, and making it look like you even have the same friends. This is how scammers gain your trust to either get your money or personal information. They have 3,000 friends. They might not know but 500 of those people. And that's a very dangerous situation I mean, because so many of those people could be hackers or, or uh, possible sex traffickers. I mean, the, the possibilities are endless, really. Email is still a good standby, but instead of a Nigerian prince giving you money, they've gotten more hip to the times, saying your Netflix password has expired. They conveniently give you a link to make the changes, but you could end up downloading malware or other software that tracks your keystrokes. It's pretty much unlimited. I mean, that's why anytime you get an email from a company like that, never click on a link. Something they've seen here recently in town is hacked PayPal accounts being used to buy things at stores like Dollar General. Just because a service says they're secure doesn't mean you shouldn't take precaution. I mean, your bank account is secure, but at the same time, people can access that stuff. They, there are hackers out there that can do it. They stress the importance of always knowing who you're talking to online and never trusting an email that comes to you, even if it has official looking logos on it. If they want you to click on a link or give them information, you should stop, think, and then call the real number of the agency to verify. I'm Ashley Knight, and this scam has been busted.